Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Spare Parts, and today I'll be reviewing set number 75182, the Republic Fighter Tank. The set came out in the year 2017, came with 305 pieces and retailed for $25. That's a pretty good price per piece there at start. It also came with four minifigures, so I don't know. Sounds like this set is good value, but let's take a closer look. Taking a first look at the set, we can see how scaled down this is compared to the last model. I mean, I never had the last model, I've just seen pictures of it. And like, this one kind of fits in the palm of your hand. Like, it's a lot smaller than, like, other versions of the set we've had. Like, just look at its scale compared to the minifigures. I think the last model, you could fit, like, more than one minifigure in it. And this one, this is the only guy that can fit in there. So, definitely a scaled-down model, but let's see if that impacts any of these play features. All right, so taking a look at the play features, we'll start off with the play feature that's on literally every LEGO set ever, <laughs> stud shooters. So, you just press on them right here. Although, actually... These are kind of different because you can kind of move them with these like these nice turret things they have. So they have these like, wow, almost 180 degree turret things that you can kind of fire them off of. So you can like aim them different ways. You know what? I actually like that. I gotta say, this gets like an A plus for stud shooter usage, or maybe maybe more like a B. Because actually, I actually have realized this before. These turret things, they can't really lay completely flat because there's like this wrench here, and on the other side, there's also this clip so they can't lay completely flat and i'd really wish they could so yeah b, b plus a for stud shooter usage but maybe like a b plus on the turrets i kind of wish they would lay flat i don't know it just kind of bothers me but yeah there is a wrench underneath there so you can use that as like a play feature for your minifigure but anyway let's get into the interior space so there is a small interior like i said before because it only fits one minifigure and he just kind of sits in there and it is supposed to be your clone driver guy and it is a four stud connection in there so he does kind of get stuck in there so you put him down there and there's a control panel it's hard to see and there's like a there's like a joystick thing that is like the the piece they use for the joystick is the bucket the bucket handle it's kind of hard to see but it's in there and it's kind of a nice space he does sit pretty low and i kind of like that so it just fits in there and yeah Pretty, pretty good interior space, but I guess some people would prefer a bigger interior space than just one minifigure because of the old models. I don't really mind it because I never had a different version. But on the set, on the box, I know it shows that he can kind of like peek out the top. And I'm not really sure how they did that. I think they have this like handle here that the minifigure is supposed to grab onto for him to be able to peek out the top like this. Actually, that kind of works pretty well. That's That's something you can do with him. I don't know. I'm just trying to justify this interior space here. It is pretty tiny, but I kind of like it. And then underneath, you also have some wheels, and I think these make a... It's supposed to make it look like it's floating, and they do a really good job, and it gives us some pretty good movement. So yeah, I, I kind of like the wheels better than just, like, those usual pieces they have that are, like, circular and they have, like, a point. I don't know. These wheels sure give it better mobility. There's one more play feature, and that is there is some extra storage in the back for ammo. So if you wanted to store your your stud shooters yay in the back you can do that all right stickers and prints time so right off the bat you can probably see some stickers these are not prints these are all stickers there's some stickers right here sticker right there sticker right there sticker right there stickers right here on both ends and i think there's a print of the control panel and that's just a normal print not exclusive at all that's just the normal one they use for control panels and yeah, so I think that's all the stickers and prints. As you can see, there is an overwhelming amount of stickers, and I know that when I built this set for the first time, I was younger, so I didn't do the best job of applying them. So yeah, this one does have a lot of stickers. I would I would kind of stay away from it if you don't like stickers very much, but I guess none of them were like overly hard. They were just annoying. I really don't like stickers. All right, time to talk about price per piece. So when this set came out in 2017, it retailed for $25 and came with 305 pieces. So like I've said before in my videos, the average is usually 10 cents per piece. So that's what people usually associate with a good deal. And if you look at the stats for this set, it's $25 for 305. So that's about like 9 cents, 8 cents per piece because there is more pieces than there are the price times 10. So that's how I kind of figure that out. So yeah, I would say this is a pretty good deal. There are some bigger pieces, but it does does seem like downsized, but for like a set that's only $25, I think this is pretty fair. We also have some good minifigures, which we will get to now. Starting off our minifigure list, we have our two ordinary normal battle droids. Sorry if I offended any battle droids out there, 
But this is another one of those sets that just throws in battle droids as its opposition for like the Republic forces. And I'm not a big fan of that. I kind of wish they had their own vehicle, like maybe like one of those stats or something that they can ride. But yeah, I mean, it's nice to get some battle droids because you can really build up your army, but they're not the, the best minifigure choice here. They're basically just filler. Next up, we have Jedi Master Ayla Secura. I think she looks really great with all this like printing. I think she does have leg printing. I think that's super cool. It's like this nice shiny. And then, yeah, really nice Charizard printing, nice different colored arms. I love it when minifigures have like the different colored arms. Like this one, this arm's blue. Man, I never really noticed they're actually, wow. That's, that's a nice detail. And then I think this is the same mold they usually use for like the head tentacle things, but I think it has a unique print to her. So yeah, I think she has a double sided face as well. Yeah, angry. So yeah, pretty good minifigure. I think I cracked the arm. Yeah, I did. I did not take very good care of my minifigures when I was younger. Finally, we have my favorite minifigure. Definitely my favorite. This is the clone gunner. And he's basically just the pilot of the tank. I think he looks really amazing. I really like the helmet printing. It's just a normal helmet mold that has some nice, like, tan printing. And then his torso has this, like, really cool, like, armor strap thing that's, like, half off. to Kind of, like, show battle damage, I think. And I don't know, I just like that detail. So, yeah, his legs are not unique, but I really like the helmet and the torso printing. On the back, he has some nice straps as well. And then, angry clone face. So, overall, I really like this minifigure. I gotta say, this set gets some extra points for design. Just in the design category, I feel like this like lime green poking through looks super cool. And like that maroon red and white just is a great combo. I know most clone vehicles kind of have that combination, but I really like the way this one uses that. So overall, I feel like this set is a 9 out of 10. I know lots of people don't like it because they're comparing it to the previous model, but I feel like as a standalone, just like without thinking about maybe the other model, this set is really good. Like I feel like for the price point, it's it works well. And maybe it's not accurate, but I think it's like a good size. I just love some of the details on it. Like another detail I really like is how these like window panes, they have like these translucent pieces here to act as like windows and it looks super cool or just see-through areas. So yeah, I feel like the set is has a great design and great color scheme. And the minifigures are pretty good as well. Like the Ala Secura and the clone guy are both, I think they're both exclusive. And I really like both of them. So I feel like this set is a pretty good build and it has some great minifigures, except for the filler battle droids. So there you have it, guys. That's my review of set number 75182, the Republic Fighter Tank. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.